Hello guys and welcome to amabiker.com. Well, it's been an interesting few months, right? Just about when you know all the motorcycles have been starting to launch again and we started to get all sorts of test rides and review opportunities. Well, we are back into lockdown. Hope you guys are safe. I uh, hope you guys are following all the required social distancing and all the requirements to keep you and your family safe. All right, so let's get into it. So if you guys have been following us on Instagram, well, you know that we have spotted some of these. Uh, well, this is the new and upcoming Yamaha FZX. And uh, yeah, there are a couple of good photographs out there and let's check out what this machine has to offer. Well, a lot of you guys have commented and told us what you think about this motorcycle already. Uh, a lot of interesting positive and negative comments and uh, first of all a uh, photo thanks to Surya uh, he's also on Instagram you can follow him over here uh, so yeah uh, first of all well there has been a lot of talk about the XSR 155 coming to India right well uh, well by the looks of this motorcycle I, I don't think the XSR is coming anymore and this is what we'll be getting and uh, well obviously the first thing that you notice you know it's got a relaxed uh, retro look uh, especially the headlight if you see you know it's, it's it's modern yet retro it looks good the front forks look a bit more beefier than than what's there on the fz or maybe it's similar i think it's pretty same actually uh, in fact the bottom half of the motorcycle uh, this area primarily I think uh, it's it's pretty much the FC and FZ basically and uh, it's only the handlebars and this design and and uh, you know all this top half that has been changed into something else well I think the the whole idea is since uh, I know uh, other manufacturers are also experimenting with the designs like this I think it was the Domina which started the trend uh, and they they now also have a 250 so so this motorcycle clearly uh, seems to have the Yamaha FZ engine which which is not 250 basically the 155 and I wish this has the 250 but from the looks of it uh, it clearly seems to have the 155 cc engine uh, and you know you can, it's, you can see it's air cooled and uh, all the other details rear disc good front disc good seating position seems a bit relaxed although the whole uh, rear end of the motorcycle basically this section I wish the seat was a bit more flatter this way rather than you know uh, being a bit pointed upwards you can see the lady pillion uh, it's 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 a bit more flatter seat probably would have made it look better and this motorcycle well looks uh, uh, complete I mean a couple of guys mentioned that this is a, a spy pick of the motorcycle in testing but actually it looks like uh, photos taken during the ad shoot so we probably could see uh, these are probably actors and we could see them uh, see them very soon in an ad soon after its launch which I'm expecting to be in the next uh, probably maybe uh, mid June or early July uh, the dashboard looks good quite big actually it looks interesting you can see this piece over here looks good headlights are well LED and and uh, well clearly you know you guys know that I'm not a big fan of LED lights right okay well this color <laughs> not so appealing but it looks good in black I think it would be really good machine for the daily commute uh, with decent power it should be fun to ride it looks to be quite comfortable as well you know raised raised handlebars you're sitting and feet are not that uh, swept forward like in a proper cruiser type it's, it's slightly uh, if you see the foot pegs or which one yeah if you see the foot pegs here it's not right below the uh, where the rider is sitting it's slightly ahead so a bit of a relaxed stance but uh, overall looks interesting I mean we never thought Yamaha would be coming with something like this right a uh, lot of interesting comments of one guy uh, let's see yeah he is Chintu Akashi says it looks like a 
bigger Honda Navi. So <laughs> a lot of positive and uh, negative comments as well. <laughs> well, that's one interesting one. Yeah, see, exactly what I thought as well. See, it doesn't look beefed up. Well, I think the front section, this area looks beefed up, but it sort of finishes off too easily over here. Anyways, let's see real life. Let's see it in real life before we, uh, you know, pass more comments on it. So uh, expect the same FZ engine, the FZ FI engine, which is there right now, uh, the 150, 155cc engine. So not uh, the... Uh, the FZ251 but I think they might upgrade it I mean depending on the response and you know what customers want but I really wish this initially itself came with the uh, 250 engine that would make it quite interesting for me all right guys so let me know uh, what you guys think about it uh, in a comment below and what you uh, you know what do you expect from this motorcycle and by the way do check out our website you know, it's been there since 2010. We did a revamp, revamp a couple of months back, made it a bit more easier to function. We have some cool wallpapers going on, uh, taken by us and also directly from the manufacturer. And of course, do check out our YouTube channel as well. Uh, we have a bunch of videos. I really hope more of you watch it, you know, bump up these views and subscription rates. All right, so guys, uh, that's it about the FZX and uh, more details in a new video as they appear to us. All right. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.